a uh, little, little fat. One, uh, we're going to be ranting. He'll be ranting. You agreed this ending was bad. I agreed, but you have That's taken it I a lot actually... harder. Yeah. Two. Uh, I remember last time I was having a drink, it was during the cannibal episode. Yeah. Is it just every time I'm going to have a drink whenever we're recording this, the ending's going to be very talkative? I don't know. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like... I'm, I'm thinking next episode might be better. Maybe you won't have one. No, no, the cannibal ending wasn't bad. No. We just had a lot to talk about. I'm not yeah. saying the end, like, the drink doesn't mean the ending is bad, it just means we have a lot to talk about. Yeah, so uh, it is true. Uh, yeah. But anyway, now that we've done the warnings, uh, cre creepy ghost, not making your own, not making sense to the rules that you established, and how can two minutes ruin a 45 minutes good episode? Find out in Torchwood. Which we will be explaining right now. Yeah, see, we really need to work on like, the Torchwood intro. We really do. You are the editor here. Excuse me, but I'm not an expert on exactly what you want. It's you. I told you I want. I want the. What we, what would be good would be the torch within the torch within thing. Yeah. And instead of the actors' names, it's like Scottish nerd, uh, uh, support ranger. And then when we get the Torchwood logo at the top of it, would be two nerds talk about Torchwood. Well, that's it. Well, we just need to find time in the day to actually look up on how to do that. Yes, I'll I will try because I've got I think I got tomorrow off. You don't. I'm sad. You we we had more videos to do anyway. So this video's this video starts with this guy giving random trivia facts, and at first I was like, did we put it on DVD? Is this like some documentary? Because hmm. pardon me, I really saw this as like some weird documentary thing. Turns out this guy's dead and he's a ghost. Yeah, even though at the, at the beginning we just see him on a road, so we're presuming that the intro is going to be him trying to kill himself. That's what I thought it was going to be. Look, we need to compress this because we're getting to the rant, okay? Yeah. And I don't want this to be a 20-year-long 20, 20 video. Yeah. Mostly because I don't think the storage on your phone could handle that. No. But anyway... We're gonna kind of speed run through this. Yeah, so but don't worry, we're not missing. We're not covering out anything. It's just it was basically the same thing throughout the whole episode. Yeah, but if we do miss something, here are some quick non-spoiler things. Here's our review, minus the two minutes. Yeah, interesting idea. The guy's kind of a creepy asshole. Oh, could been better, could been worse, but it's a real interesting idea and episode that they had in there. Yeah, that's without the final two minutes. Yeah, we'll go into extreme detail with that. Mm -hmm. Like, pro we can probably be like, and this rock went at a 40 degree angle at this way. Hey, but anyway. Uh, Torch would investigate the, the guy being murdered. And apparently, he knew Jack and Gwen. Except it explains how he knows Gwen. Except doesn't know, except doesn't explain his name. But actually, no, Jack does say his name. Does say her name. But doesn't explain how he knows Jack. So... Another plot hole. Yeah. <laughs> We're piling on this episode. It's actually not that bad. We're going to make this episode seem a lot worse, really, because that final two minutes ruined it. Yes. But anyway, uh, uh, Owen's basically me in this, this episode. Why? He's just like, why the hell are we involved? This kid got run over. We deal with aliens. Yeah. We're not the police. Yeah. Uh... And then we find out that the guy got run over by a drunk guy. Basically, that's it. So, uh, but Gwen, Gwen, for some reason, feels like she needs to do this. Uh, she needs to investigate into it more. Yeah. So basically, uh, she goes into investigating. Uh, she talks to her mom. Um, they look at some stuff, and it is, it's missing. His display is missing something. Uh, we find out that the kid. We find out that the guy was a math genius as a kid, but when he went into the tournament, his dad took. The, he took his only day off to actually videotape everything and... And the kid balled up they, they and choked. the dad left. Balled yeah. up's the same thing. Uh, I yes. just feel like choked is better. I couldn't get the words out. Boiled up is when he just... No, balled up means just everything, like, didn't do anything. And dad, the dad left because the son's a disgrace. It's, I would agree. Eh? Because as you, 
you led to the final two minutes, so you are a disgrace. I really hate the two minutes. You really like, do. I wasn't even this mad at bisexual rapist. No, you were not. You were never this mad with episode one, and that nearly killed you. Because that was even that one was even a personal thing. Well, you know that one personally hurt me. Yeah. So apparently, a personal thing is but nothing to compare to this. No, because see that one attacked me because of my sexuality. This one attacked me because of my writing. Your brain, credibility, yeah, all that jazz. Your creativity. Like, yeah, that's what hits me. So apparently I care about more my, about my creativity than my sexuality. Eh, this turns into a deep dive about the Scottish nerds. But anyway. Hey, uh, so she basically runs down for the whole thing. She goes to his work, goes to talk to some people, get some information about that, goes to the video store, talks, talks to another guy. The reason why I say that is because the guy brings up, we're not talking. No, uh, we're not talking about the fish police. Anyway, moving on, moving on, moving on. Uh, a lady at the work says that basically, for some reason, actually, it's never explained why he does this, but he wants to give this girl tickets to Australia. Doesn't have the money, so what he's going to do is he's going to sell the alien eye. And I think it was because um, he was having a crush on her or something. Yeah, I don't know. Moving on. Well, to be honest, he apparently he wanted to fuck everyone. True. Because he wanted to fuck when. Speaking yeah. of which, that's another thing about the final two minutes I can get on at. Uh, yeah. Dude, you're not the one Gwen. Gwen's gonna get my fucking smite as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm bad. Just keep it going. You're anyway. almost there. You're almost there. Yeah, basically we can compress this episode a lot. Like, if this final two minutes didn't happen, this could be a ten minute video. Yeah. But, basically... Went on eBay, a, a, no one was bidding, and it went from 100 to 200, then 15,000, and then a guy paid 15,505 pence. 50 it's, pence. 50 pence. Ignore me. Anyway, I wanted to talk about that. Do you think at that time that, like, that was the only way to add more money to Amazon? No, not at uh, eBay. Because, like, it felt weird that it would be 15,550 pence, because we later find out that the guy just got a little greedy. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be one pound more? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we... I don't know. eBay... Yeah, this whole episode does not explain everything. Uh, basically, uh, Gwen's looking at this. Captain Jack's like, Oh, what the hell are you doing? Yada, yada, yada. He had an alien eye. Oh, this eye is super expensive. It's, like, rare. Basically, it allows you to see what you're going back from. Um, and then Captain... And then Jack... Uh, no, Jack basically says, You got a weekend to solve this. Uh, she basically... Continues the investigation. We're going to talk about one thing that we that could be cut. Uh, basically, he says he wants to, he loves Gwen and it's super creepy. And then we find and then we find out that he watched her sleep. You're a fucking creeple. Yeah, and he slept on the other side of the bed, yeah. even though he's a ghost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe because, maybe because of it, maybe because since it's brain and you get into the habit, maybe that he did sleep. I don't know. Maybe, anyway, maybe. look, we want to talk about bullshit. Wait. Aye. Uh, just wait, honestly. Uh, basically, she ends up going to the diner, and then what she finds out is that basically... His two friends bought the eye, yeah. and the whole reason uh, he went up to 15,000 was for an alien enthusiast who loved collecting stuff yeah. like that. Uh, the thing about the eye is that when the kid failed the math thing, his teacher gave him the eye, and, his, his science and, teacher. and, and the guy and the guy genuinely believes it was an alien, and the alien would come and get it. So he would wait. It. He would wait for the eye and basically waste his life away waiting for this alien. And and then when the guy's like, oh, we did it, it's like he basically punches a bunch in the face, runs away, he runs out and gets hit by the car. That's what happens. But he That's feels what, free when he's doing the running bit. Doesn't really matter. We don't care about his opinions. We don't care about his feelings. We don't care about anything about him. Okay? Hey, he runs, gets hit by the car, yada, yada, yada. Let and then he and then he has a scene at the funeral then he has a scene at the funeral where his dad comes in and we like find out that uh, that his dad didn't move to america he basically just worked in a shop yada 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 in a garage just nearby uh so what happens is that uh and the dad was actually a surprisingly good singer yeah he pl he sings old danny boy two things mm. one i thought that was a scottish or not welsh mm. welsh no scottish or irish also 
I have never had that song pass. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are bellowing. That's the only part I've ever heard. Aye. But I've heard that bit so many times in my life. Yeah. Aye. But he goes to the funeral, and then what ha And then Gwen basically asks the guy, uh, one of the guys, to take the eye uh, because uh, when he's fighting his friends, he swallows the eye. And he takes out the eye, hang it out of the body. Yeah, out of his And then uh, Gwen goes to visit it, the mum. The dad comes in to say hello. Oh, the ghost is like, well, I don't know what I'm going to do anymore. A uh, torch would come in. She gives Captain Jack the eye. Warning, warning. Here it comes. Oh, boy. Give me a sec. This is it. This is the bit we've all been warning you for. Here it comes. Okay, so the dad comes in and, and he make, and he starts trying to make friends and, and build his back his relationship. The ghost guy starts whittling off facts like he did at the start. So I'm like, oh, this is the end of the episode. We're going to zoom out and it's going to be the end of the episode. Better bing, better boom. Next time on Torchwood, it's some guys, some people from the 50s come in. And then Gwen is walking in the middle of the street and is about to be hit by the car. Here we go. Then... Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's and the right. ghost tries to save her. And he fucking does. He somehow... Doesn't become a ghost anymore, pushes her out of the way, uh, lands on top of her, uh, he's there, and he's alive, she is surprised, everyone's surprised, because, you know, he was fucking dead. So apparently he's, everyone can see him now? Yes. Sorry, Neil. Neil about... Pardon me. So then, 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 and Gwen fucking snogs him, which I want this to be remembered, Gwen is... Fucking engaged or married. We had a slight debate on this of whether or not are they engaged or married. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but here's a little list. Owen, shagged. Captain Shack obviously wants to shag. Ag. And then this guy, Snog. Seriously, is there any guy on the show who hasn't fucked her? Seriously. This is a genuine question I'm now on This thing we'll find out is, remember our police friend from episode one and two? This thing we'll find out that he shagged her. <laughs> I'm calling it. I'm calling it now. Oh, so then, this is the, well, this is the most stupid part. Then, he floats up. He just starts going into the sky. Like the car from Greece. Because, you know, that made perfect fucking sense. Unless you go with the theory that the girl from Greece actually a, wasn't saved from drowning and that the whole thing is just her hallucination and the car going up means she's dead. No. That's a theory. And, and that's he, a rubbish No, theory. he explains why the car floats up into the sky. No, the more theory is that the gas that they used made it more flam what made it more um, float resistant to make it go faster. Like the science, like the science boy said, actually made it float up in the air. That's more of a theory. No, I'm going with the whole she's dying theory. And I'm then how do you explain the guy? The guy? It's a whole imagination she made. It, her coma brain is imagining all of this. That explains why it is the most 50s stereotype musical ever, even though I'm pretty sure people in the 50s weren't that 50s. Okay? And, like, we see the leather jacket slick it. Did anyone actually dress like that? Probably. Probably. Hey. Well, to be honest, yes. Can't. Look, I don't even care we're getting off topic anymore. Yes. So then he floats up to the sky and dies and the planet zooms out and then better being better boom, this episode's over. Okay, okay, let's talk about this ending. Let's talk about this ending. Oh this god, end it's gonna let it out. This ending completely ruins this entire episode because this episode was actually a really interesting thing that kind of went on a lot of different things because I had kind of made some theories. Is because when they're talking about the alien eye, halfway through I spoke to this guy and I said, I don't want there to be an alien. I don't want there to be an alien at the end of this. I don't want this guy to be right. I want this guy to have wasted his life on nothing. That's it. Bada bing, bada boo. I was right about that. That's good. Then, when she answers to Captain Jack, I asked him to pause it because I was waiting for Captain Jack to say, it's a fake. Like, like, 
it uh oh and then says we still need to investigate it so then i was like oh could still be a fake but we'll never find out so fine no 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 this has to be real because then how do you explain a guy coming back from the dead dead coming back from the dead that's one thing he's a ghost so we know how he does it in his thing he pushes her but from everyone else's perspective did he just pop out of nowhere did he just go boom i'm here bam now, then, this doesn't make sense with the eye, because it says with the eye, what happens is the eye allows you to look back. That's all that Captain Jack says. It doesn't say anything like, oh, oh yeah, it can bring you back from the dead for a minute and a half and then you fuck off into space. <sighs> this episode is bad. This episode is bad. By the final two minutes. If you remove the final two minutes, this is a very interesting idea. But there are two major things that stop this episode from being the best episode. Because if you change these two things, this could have genuinely been the best episode of Torchwood. One, the final two minutes. I don't care if you made my change or you changed the final two minutes. That two minutes ruins it. Two, the main guy. You these kind of episodes can work really well of the ghost solving his own murder. The problem is, you need to be a very likeable character for this episode to work. The problem is, this guy is an idiot, thick, creepazoid, oid, who I am pretty sure saw Gwen naked. It, I hate this. This episode... I know what I'm naming this video. This video's called Old... How to ruin your how to ruin your your episode in two minutes and then it will be t two notes talk about torchwood number nine. Mm -hmm. I'm done. This I'm, I'm done. I'm having a drink. I didn't like this episode. I'm done talking. You can finish this off. So obviously we are not naming this episode the best one we've seen this time. This is the worst. Yes. Like thank you. Like. Fundamentally, we've had two worse episodes. Yeah. But they didn't... Sex, Cloud, and Cyberwoman. Those episodes fundamentally are worse than this, but they didn't have a bad ending. And Sex, Cloud is the worst of the two episodes because Yanto got some good moments out of this. Granted, those were infuriating moments in some retrospect because nothing happened, but at, at least Sex, Cloud stayed consistently below average. It, this started off meh, interestingly got good, and then got awful. You want to know why I'm so pissed off at this? There is such an interesting idea here. There is a fantastic episode in here. This, this could have been great. This, mm, I'm trying to think of an example that you could get. This would be like if... Because I've been rewatching some later episodes of In Space. All right. And the final two episodes of In Space, they were promoting Zane's dune buggy of being able to do everything. This would be like in the countdown to destruction, and right before Andros made a, the big sacrifice and killed Zordon, Zane went, Wait! My dune buggy! And then we see Zane just going around destroying all the United Alliance of Evil on his dune buggy. <laughs> that's, that's how bad this is. <laughs> I really do think I'm done. I don't think I can talk anymore. Okay, I so will. So you, you wrap I this up. I will take it from here. You wrap okay. this up. I'm going to check my emails. Okay, okay. You can just calm down now. Yes, and we all, obviously we forgot to mention that um, when he was flying up into space, it was a bright white light. So obviously he's now gone up to heaven. I said heaven. Well, there you go. So obviously it's not the best episode we've seen yet, but I had a good idea. But it had a bad outcome, so before he goes on any more about this video... This isn't a rant, this is something I wanted to say. Right. You know how some people say an e the ending is the most important thing, and if you have a bad ending, it can ruin the whole thing? Yeah. I never really believed that, because I never... Because I believed the ending only is really bad, and when everything else is really bad... Uh -huh. I've been disproven. I now genuinely, now every time someone says, oh, this ending can ruin it, I used to be like, are you sure? Are you sure the rest of the thing wasn't just as bad? No. No, the, this was, the start good and this ending is that bad. Aye, so yes. So that's basically everything we've said about this episode. Hopefully the next episode might 
make us more happier and it will be more interesting for us to actually get more of a positive feedback of it. I know we don't normally talk about this, but I don't fucking care. We're breaking all rules with this video. Oh, jeez. We see the next... We need. We see the whole next time thing. So we... we Like, I know we say we don't know what's coming. We have a vague idea. This The next episode seems really good. good. But anyway... I've been a Scottish nerd and I've been pissed. He's um, been a support ranger. He's been kind of moderate, which is actually quite funny because normally it's the other way around. Normally you're very over the top and I'm trying to calm you down. I know, right? That's really like, odd. Also, we found out that Ash Ketchum won a poke Pokemon Dawn. Like, what's happening now? Like, it, the laws of time and space are not working. It's, cats and dogs are living together. <laughs> Ghostbusters reference for you. Goodbye, everybody.